Hello, this is Maria Riccelli from BNC Software. Welcome to the how-to video series for TrueSci Capacity Optimization. This video will explain you how to leverage the tank filtering capabilities in capacity views on TrueSci Console. In the views in uh, uh, TrueSci Capacity Optimization, version 10.7, a number of enhancements have been introduced. In addition to the ability to do filtering based on domains and based on the time filtering capabilities, we have had the opportunity to filter out entities in views based on tags. This is a very powerful feature if you think about how it is possible to very quickly group together uh, entities that are spread around uh, the entire uh, the workspace tree into the TrueSci Capacity Optimization Console simply by selecting and combining together different tags. You have now the opportunity to leverage these filtering capabilities into out-of-the-box views on the TrueSci Console UI and uh, you can filter out entities on the basis of homogeneous criteria. Those could be, for example, on the basis of uh, environment types, production and test or location, or for example, uh, service levels such as gold for, or silver or platinum, etc. The customer value here is, is really an improved efficiency because uh, with a few clicks um, you can easily select and effectively select entities of interest and uh, go deeper with your analysis uh, through the out-of-the-box views on the TrueSci console UI. Directly from the tree on the left hand side, you can point at the virtualization button and under that you see the list of all the available virtualization views and you can click directly on infrastructure to land on the vSphere infrastructure page. From here, you can leverage different uh, uh, filtering capabilities. Of course, you are presented with a number of information related to your cluster. In addition to CPU, memory utilization and data store utilization, you are provided with information about trends and about uh, residual capacity for each cluster. From here, you might want, for example, to leverage the filtering capability to focus your investigation on specific system. At this point, you can select the already available tags. Let's say that I wanted to investigate my clusters that are located in Phoenix and are my production clusters. So as an environment, I wanted to select prod and I can do apply here. If I do apply, I'm provided with a list of my clusters which represents my production cluster located in Phoenix. And that's how easy it is to leverage the tag filtering capabilities in capacity views. Thanks, and we look forward to see you on the next how-to video.